Hello everybody and welcome to my second SQL Server Quickie. In this episode I want to follow on on databases. As you already know from the last one, a database in SQL Server is always 8 kilobyte large. Imagine now that we have a database with several hundred gigabytes. That's a lot of databases that SQL Server has to store and to manage. But how is SQL Server actually managing those databases. For that reason SQL Server provides us so-called extends and in this SQL Server quickie I will explore the concept of extends together with you. To get started uh, with extends I have illustrated here on the flip chart up front an MDF file with 48 different pages. As you can see we have 16 pages in a row and we have in some three rows. What is SQL Server now doing with the so-called extend? SQL Server just groups 8 pages together to the extend. So in our case SQL Server takes the first 8 pages and creates an extend. Extend 1 here we have our second extend, extend 2. Here we have our third extend, extend 3. Here we have our fourth extend, extend 4, extend 5, and extend 6. As you can see now, our database has a huge amount of different extends. SQL Server differentiates between two different kinds of extends, so-called uniform extends and mixed extends. Let's concentrate in the first step on uniform extends. Uniform extends are described in SQL Server through so-called GUM pages. A GUM page is a so-called global allocation map page and is itself again 8 kilobyte large. A GUM page itself just contains a simple bit mask. When an extent, when the pages of one extent are all belong to the same database object, like a heap, clustered index, non-clustered index, then this extent is called a uniform extent, which means when this extent is a uniform extent, the bit in the GUM page is not set. So in our case, we are saying those eight pages are belonging to one database object, like a table customers. In that case, the corresponding bit in the GUM page is not set. When the bit is set, this means the extend is free, then we have here another extend which is free, the fourth extend is free, the fifth extend is not free, so it's used, which means those eight pages are belonging to another database object, maybe to the same table, maybe to another table or another index. And this page again is free. As I've said, a GUM page itself is again 8 kilobyte large and from those 8 kilobytes SQL Server gives us 8000 bytes, which means we have here 8000 bytes. Each byte has 8 bits, which means we have 64000 bits on that GUM page available. Okay, and with each bit we are representing one extent as you can see here. Okay, so 64 kilobytes. When we divide that down to the gigabyte level, you can see that we can address with one gum page an interval of 4 gigabytes. This means when our data file is larger than 4 gigabytes, SQL Server needs multiple GUM pages. 
and those gum badges are always on predefined locations inside our database file. So the first gum badge is always the third page and then the gum badge comes regularly after 511,230 pages. Okay, so on the page 511,233 we find another gum page which describes the extents in the interval from 4 to 8 gigabytes. Besides a uniform extent, which is described with a gum page in SQL Server, SQL Server also implements so called mixed extents, which are described through an S gum page, shared global allocation map page. The S gum page again has 8000 bytes which means we have 64,000 bits available, each bit represents an interval of 64 kilobyte and extend, which means again with an SCAM page we can address an interval of 4 gigabytes. How is SQL Server creating that bit mask? When the corresponding extend in that bit mask is a uniform extent, the bit is not set. When the corresponding extent is a mixed extent, which means inside that extent several pages are allocated to different database objects, like here A, B, C, T, P, C, and T, and that extent has at least one free page available, then it is a mixed extent and the corresponding bit in the ASCAM page is set. When all eight pages are allocated to one, uh, when all eight pages are allocated to different objects and that mixed extent has no free page available, then the corresponding bit in the ASCOM page is also not set as you can see here. So again when we have here allocated to some objects our pages and one and we have at least one free page page available then the corresponding bit in the ASCOM page is set. The fifth extent is a uniform extent, which means the corresponding bit is not set. And finally, imagine we have here one page allocated, we have seven pages free, which means the bit in the ASCAM page again is set. Why is SQL Server making that differentiation between a GUM and ASCAM page? In the subsequent uh, SQL Server quickly we will talk how SQL Server actually allocates pages for new database objects and by now we only have to know that the first eight pages, so page 1 to page 8, for a specific database object is always allocated from a mixed extent. And for that reason SQL Server needs the ASCOM page, because SQL Server has to find a mixed extent which has at least one free page available. And all subsequent pages, so page 9 to 16, page 17 to 24 and so on, those pages are allocated from uniform extents, which means SQL Server has to find a whole extent where all eight pages are not belonging to any database object. And for that reason, SQL Server uses the GUM page. And as I've said, SGUM page also comes regularly inside our database file. So the SGUM page comes here and the beginning on the fourth page and then again regularly 
after all 511,230 pages. So after that introduction to our extents, the DAM and SCAM page, we will now switch to SQL Server Management Studio and I will show you how a GAM and SCAM page looks like within SQL Server. As you now know how SQL Server manages uh, extends through GAM and SCAM pages, I want to demonstrate you not that concept within SQL Server Management Studio. As you can see here, I have here a database called DPCE from the corresponding benchmark. And that database has a large uh, data file of almost 72 GB, which means we will find here plenty GAM and SCAM pages within that file. So again, I'm enabling the trace flag 3604 so that we can dump out pages. And in the first step, I'm dumping out my first GAM page. The only thing uh, that you must uh, be aware of the dbcc page command is that the page ID is zero based. So as I have said earlier on the flip chart, GAM page is always the third page, which means we have here to supply uh, the page ID 2 because dbcc page expects the page ID zero based. So I'm dumping out my GAM page. As you can see here, we have our page header, 96 bytes, as I've already told you at the last SQL Server quickie. And here we have finally uh, the extent allocation bitmap masks that I have mentioned earlier on the flip chart. So you can see the extent or the page is 0 to 616 are allocated. The pages 624 to 631 are not allocated, so in that case we have a whole uniform extent which is currently not allocated. And then the pages 632 to 792 are allocated, pages 800 to 807 are not allocated, and so on. So as you can see here, we have here a lot of bitmaps. Next page is the SCAM page, which is always the fourth page at the beginning of our data file. So again, we have our page header, 96 bytes, and then again we have the extent allocation bitmap mask of the SCAM page. So in that case, pages 0 to 408 are not allocated, pages 416 to 432 are allocated, Pages 440 to 447 are not allocated. Then, after 511,230 pages, you find the second GAM page. So again, I can dump out that second GAM page. As you can see here, the same bitmap mask, just with different page numbers and the same with the SCAM page. Okay, so as you can see here, it's very, very easy uh, to dump out and analyze those SCAM and SCAM pages through the DPCC page command. In this SQL Server quickie, we have talked about extent management in SQL Server through GAM and SCAM pages. Some of you might now asking why the heck you have to know about those special pages inside SQL Server. The answer is very easy. SQL Server can get into serious performance problems with the GAM and SCAM page. Imagine you have a high concurrent workload which creates a huge amount of tables. For example, DAMP tables inside DAMPDB. In that case, SQL Server always has to access those SCAM and GAM pages and that can lead to a performance problem called page latch contention. And I will show you in a subsequent SQL Server quickie how you can overcome that performance problem within SQL Server. So stay tuned and I'm looking forward to our third SQL Server quickie.